Mr. Dettelbach, in your 2018 campaign for Attorney General, you called for a ban on so-called assault weapons. What is an assault weapon? Could you define it for me? Senator, I, uh, uh, when I was a candidate for office, I did uh, talk about restrictions on assault weapons. I did not define the term, and I haven't gone through the process of defining that term. That would only be for the Congress if it chose to take that up uh, to do, and if you chose to take it up. I would uh, be at the ATF and there was perhaps expertise or data we could give you so that you could make the appropriate decision to both uh, protect the public and protect the Second Amendment. So, so you're running for public office and you called for a ban on assault weapons, but you don't have a definition for assault weapons? Senator, uh, it would only be for a legislative body, whether it was the Ohio legislature or the Congress, it would only be for a legislative body to do that work. And I acknowledge that would be a difficult task to define assault weapons because on one hand, you don't want it to be so narrow that it, it doesn't offer the protections that are intended. And on the other hand, you certainly don't want it to be so broad so that it infringes unnecessarily on the rights of citizens. So I acknowledge that's a difficult task, but it would be for this body to do, not for me. Why, why is it so hard to define assault weapons? Well, I, I think, Senator, what I what I told you, which is that it is you don't you don't want it to be so narrow as to be meaningless, and you don't want it to be so broad as to uh, infringe on the rights of law-abiding Americans unnecessarily. Congress took an effort at that uh, definition in 1994. Uh, what did you think of that definition that Congress used? I don't know enough about that. I, that's a definition that I'm not particularly familiar with, and I haven't studied the data on how uh, on that particular definition. I've heard comments on both sides of that, Senator. I, I acknowledge that's a very difficult issue. I, it is, that is for this body to decide. Is it, is it because that there's really not a category of weapons known as assault weapons? I mean, there's rifles, there's shotguns, there's pistols. Can you go into a federally licensed firearm dealer and find the category of weapons labeled on the wall as assault weapons? Uh, I don't believe that's a category of, of weapons that's labeled on the wall of uh, retailers. Uh, it's not necessarily what retailers call it that would affect the decision of, of a legislative body, but no to answer to your question. So it's, what, it's what politicians and lawyers in Washington call it. Well, it would, Senator, uh, for me, it would be what elected legislators who are charged with having these discussions and debates would choose or not choose to call it. Okay. I think it's very telling that you're nominated to lead the ATF and, and you don't have a definition of assault weapon. And the point is that there is really no such thing as a category of weapons known as assault weapons. There are rifles, there are shotguns, there are pistols, they have properties, they have features, um, but there is no such thing as a category of assault weapons. Um, I want to turn to the Southern Poverty Law Center. Uh, in 2017, you called for treating as terrorist groups uh, organizations that have been labeled as hate groups by the Southern Poverty Law Center, P Southern Poverty Law Center, which itself um, is a corrupt slush fund for liberal causes with its own very troubled history of racist and sexist record. Um, you said in that op-ed that we should pass new laws to label those groups as terrorists and, quote, disrupt them. Um, one such group that the Southern Poverty Law Center has labeled as a hate group, which you therefore said you would treat as a terrorist group, is the Family Research Council. Do you believe that the Family Research Council is a hate group and should be treated as terrorists? Uh, Senator, um, uh, I think in the article that you're referring to, Senator, I, I talked, I, I cited uh, a number of hate groups, the number that the Southern Poverty Law Center said existed in Ohio. And uh, Senator, I, I do and not- There were about 33 of them. I don't believe that, I have no, um, I'm not a member of that group. I, 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 and I'm not associated in, in, with that group. Uh, but it would be obviously not for a private group to define what a terrorist organization was. I was making the point that there are domestic terrorism organizations that espouse violence. The key is groups that espouse violence um, and that we ought to uh, treat those domestic terrorism organizations that espouse violence the same way or using some of the same models as I was using on Al-Qaeda when I did Al-Qaeda cases, Hezbollah cases, because the key is violence.
Right, that's that's so the, the but the Southern Poverty Law Center calls groups like the Family Research Council a hate group, and you said you wanted to treat them like a terrorist group. What about another one? Is the Alliance Defending Freedom? Do you think the sir, Alliance I, Defending Freedom should be treated like Al Qaeda? Sir, I'm not uh, I'm not familiar with either of those groups, and I, I wouldn't I wouldn't categorize familiar, them. But you're familiar with the Southern Poverty Law Center, right? I, I'm familiar with the group generally. Yes, I am, sir. But I'm Are not you familiar with its troubled history of racism and sexism. Sir, I'm not deeply familiar with them. Okay. I know I know something about the group, but I, I'm not familiar with the things that you may be referring okay. should, to. Sir. Should you be confirmed, I encourage you to familiarize yourself with the Southern Poverty Law Center before you ever cite them, and certainly before you rely on them using federal power. My time's expired. Thanks for watching, and if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to our channel. And while you're at it, please leave us a comment. Thank you for watching.